Hello, so another beer review. So today we have a beer, a bit of a weird one. It's a beer from Omnipoyo or Omnipolo or Omnipolo, however you want to pronounce it. Apparently it's pronounced Omnipoyo. So that's how I'm going to try and pronounce it if I remember. Um, <laughs> it's a can of their Bianca Peach Vanilla Protein Shake Lassi Goza. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, we know Omnipolo do ridiculous beers by now. Um, I love their stouts. I think their stouts are absolutely incredible. Haven't they a great brewery? Um, but yeah, I've got a sour beer here. Um, <laughs> to be fair to say, I've heard mixed things about this beer. It's not got the highest untapped rating in the world. It's below a three. It's uh, which for a craft beer is me usually means it's pretty shocking um yeah i've never had a protein shake before as you can see looking at me um yeah peach and vanilla so yeah magic might be i think bianca's like their smoothie goza range you know smoothie sour sort of range so yeah well, let's get it in the glass and see what we get Smells interesting. It's all sort of like, um, I guess like a uh, sweet. So, oh, horrible colour. Horrible colour, look at that. Oh, the sediment in it. I mean, I did get this in a mystery box, I'm not gonna lie, and it is a little bit out of date. Transparency again, like I said on the um, Hoth Brow review. Um, you know, it's a one. It was cost. It was in a mystery box. It cost me a quid. This isn't something I would have probably bought normally, just because of the. Not that I rule my life by on tap, but because of the horrendous on tap ratings, I probably wouldn't have gone for it. But you know, some people. But I think it's more than it being everyone thinking it bad. I think it's more like a marmite type thing. I think cause I've seen good reviews of this beer as well. It's bad reviews. So let's go for the smell. So it smells all right. Quite artificial smelling, I'm not gonna lie. There's vanilla and peach for sure. It smells a bit like um sweet. Like I said sweets, isn't it? It smells like, you know, like gummy bears or a bit. Like, you know, like if you go and buy like cheaper sweets in like Aldi or somewhere like that. You know, not like Harry Potter, but like cheap gummy sweets from like I don't know, like a supermarket owned brand. Oh, like the ones you get in pick and mixes and like cheaper wholesale stuff. It kind of smells like them, like that. It smells like a pick and mix. That, that, there we go. So yeah, peach and uh, vanilla. It, it smells all right. It smells perfectly pleasant, you know. Let's uh, dive in. Like I said, a horrid colour. It's certainly something. God, that is too frottingly sweet, I'm going to say, after one sip. That is really sweet. Like, really, oh, really sweet. You're going to need a sweet tooth for this one. There's peach. And vanilla for sure. I don't know what I don't know what protein shake tastes like. Like I said, I'm a fat bastard. I don't work out, or I'm not a big muscle man, so never never had protein shake in my life. But I guess there is like a powderiness sort of to it, like in taste. Like, um, almost like, um, uh, you know, you know, like Lemsip powder. Yeah, it's a bit like that. So, I guess, because, you, you know, you probably shake your little scoop, don't you, in the thing, and you put a little scoop, and then you 
walk around with your big muscles and drink it at the gym with your tight vest on. I'm going to say something very nasty there. I'm likely point, but no, I wasn't, but it's not. Let's not go there. Um, yeah, really sweet. Like, I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's unpleasant. It's because it's not unpleasant. I'm not drinking it and going, oh, that's disgusting. Like. Like, it's very sweet. Do I wish the sweetness was toned down a little bit in it? Yes. You know, it's a little bit much, a little bit almost cloying. And I don't mind sweet beers. Like, you know, you see me drink, you know, I drink plenty of pastry stouts. I drink plenty of these stupid smoothie sours. Well, yeah, it's maybe a little much on the sweetness, but... There's almost a bit of a peach iced tea vibe to it as well. Like I said, not unpleasant at all. Just maybe a little oversweet would be the main criticism. It's certainly not a 2.9 or whatever it is on untapped bad. It's certainly, you know, if I hadn't seen the untapped rating, I wouldn't have thought it would have got a rating as bad as that. Um, it's perhaps a little bit Tiny Rebel-esque, you know. It's got that sort of slightly artificialness to it. It's got a nice body to it. It's quite syrupy. It's going in line with the sweetness. You wouldn't know. I mean, it's 6% ABV. It's not a stupid ABV. But for a quid, this is all right. Considering how expensive Bomb the Poyo beer normally is, you usually play in excess of a tenner for a fair beer. They don't usually work these particular stouts. But, yeah, I've got three Omni Poyo beers actually in that mystery box. So, one was a, an IPA, which was actually alright, considering it was quite old, I'd imagine. And there was another sour I haven't had yet. Anyway, let's rate this up. Yeah. It's a weird one. It's an interesting one. It's not as bad as Untapped would lead you to believe, I don't think. It's very weird. It's certainly a little oversweet, but the flavours are all there, which described. If you've got a sweet tooth, you'll love this, because it is literally like syrup. But it's drinkable, it tastes all right. I actually, I'd even go as far as to say I'm enjoying this. Um, it's not gonna be for everyone. But it's all right. It's, it's all right. I, you know, it's, it, it tastes pretty nice, I'd even go as far as to say. So I'll probably give this a rating. Like, I don't get me wrong, it's not. A beer I'd probably go and pick a second one off of, but as an experience. Uh, just knocking something on the floor there. Um, I'll probably rate this a three point. I'll probably go 3.25 if I'm honest. You know, if they dial down the sweetness, we'll be probably looking at a much higher score, but. Like I said, it's a little oversweet, but it's not a sink for it. It's not a bad beer. There's no, not really any beeriness to it, if I'm honest, but, you know, it's fine. It's all right. You know, it, it will get drunk. It's reasonably enjoyable. Just a little oversweet. So, yeah, 3.25 out of 5, I think, is a fair score for taking everything into account. So thank you for watching. This has been a review of Omnipoyo's Bianca Peach Vanilla Protein Shake Lassie Goza. Please drop us your thoughts below. Give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like and be for all future videos and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.